At a rally in Minnesota last night, President Trump touted his debate performance against Democratic rival Joe Biden. You know, Biden lost badly when his supporters are saying he should cancel the rest of the debates. But the president is dealing with the fallout after controversial comments he made when asked to denounce white supremacy Tuesday night. Would you like me to condemn white supremacists and right proud boys? Stand back and stand by. Wednesday, President Trump tried to walk back those comments. They have to stand down, let law enforcement do their work. On Capitol Hill, Senate Republicans pressed the president to clarify. He should have made it very clear that there is no room for people on the far left or the far, or far right when it comes to either Antifa or these white supremacist groups. Campaigning across Ohio and Pennsylvania, former Vice President Joe Biden said his message to the Proud Boys is cease and desist. The Proud Boys now have a logo saying, stand down, but stand by. We need to remember who in God's name we are. This is the United States of America. After Tuesday's chaos, the commission that oversees presidential debates is now considering changes to the rules to try and keep order. CBS News has learned that could include cutting off candidates' microphones. Even members of the president's own party criticized the tone of debate night. I did not think it was helpful in educating the American people. I thought it was a... Uh... Embarrassment. With 33 days until the election, both the president and Biden are focusing on raising money. The president holds a private fundraiser in Bedminster, New Jersey today, while Democratic nominee Joe Biden will fundraise virtually. On Friday, Biden heads to the key battleground state of Michigan, while the president has a trip planned to the swing state of Florida.